by the time that I am posting this video, it is July, which is one of my favorite months out of the year, only because it is my birthday month. My birthday is July 12th. So that's about, that's all that, that's all that I care about when it comes to July. <laughs> I live in Texas, so it is super hot by the time my birthday rolls around, but um, I am very excited this year because I will be participating in Jane Austen July, which is a month-long readathon hosted by Katie from Books and Things, as well as Marissa from Blatantly Bookish and Claudia from Spencer's Library. So those are the three hosts of this book club. I will be sure to link their channels and the announcement videos down below in the description box, but I thought today I would share with y'all what I am planning to read during the readathon. Um, there are a series of prompts associated with the readathon, um, which makes it really fun. And uh, you kind of get to switch it up every single year with, you know, what books you decide to read. But if you're not familiar with Jane Austen July, it is, like I said, a month long readathon to celebrate all things Jane Austen. And, um, you know, it varies from fictional works to nonfiction and also her impact on uh, film um, and plays and, you know, other other creative works like that. And I am just so excited to be participating. I have been itching to read another Jane Austen work uh, because um, I haven't finished her entire six novel repertoire but I am hoping to make a huge dent in July. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the TBR. I do have my cup of tea right here. This is a white peach tea from Hardy and Sons. It's delicious. It's very summery. It's light because it's a white tea and it's full of caffeine because it's a white tea. So I could be jittery mm. throughout this video. So Let's move in to the group read-alongs, which are happening um, throughout the month. There's actually two read-alongs um, as a group for Jane Austen July. And the first one is Mansfield Park, which is actually the first Jane Austen novel that I read. And um, it is actually one of my favorites. I love Mansfield Park. I love Mansfield Park. And it always grinds my gears when people just like go off. <laughs> on Mansfield Park. We all have our tastes. I get it. I get it. It's not for everybody. But um, I think it's one of, um, you know, thus far of what I've read. Um, I think it's one of Jane Austen's very thoughtful works and very critical as well um, from a um, societal perspective. Um, it's, it's a very interesting book and I love Fanny Price. I identify quite a bit with her. Um, so I'm really excited to reread re this one. And this read along is happening from July 1st to the 21st. And then the next book um, that we'll be reading as a group is Pers Persuasion. And um, this will be taking place from July 22nd to the 31st. So it is a little slimmer than Mansfield Park, um, but I am very excited to read this one. I have not read this one yet. So um, I'm excited. I'm very excited to read it. All right, moving on to the prompts that um, are happening throughout the month. Um, one of the prompts and the only prompt that you have to fulfill in order to fully participate in Jane Austen July is to read one of Jane Austen's six novels. So for this, I will be reading one of the ones that I have not read yet, and that is Sense and Sensibility. I have seen the film adaptation with uh, Kate Winslet and Emma Thompson, but um, I have not read the novel. So very, very much looking forward to this. The second prompt is something by Jane that is not one of her six novels. And for this, I will be reading The Beautiful Cassandra by Jane Austen. It is a novella or a short story. Um, and I honestly have no idea what this is about. So it may be sort of a surprise going into it, but I'm, it's very thin. So I think this will be a nice uh, little cushion in between some of the, the, the larger works that I have here in this deck. The third prompt is a nonfiction work that is about Jane or the time that she lived in. If you don't know much about Jane Austen, she lived during the Georgian period or the Regency period, um, which came right before the Victorian era. For this, I have two books and I'm not sure if I'm going to get to both of them, but the first one is one that I have been chipping away on very slowly over the past few months and it is Tea with Jane Austen by Kim Wilson. This book is very, um, it's very interesting, um, especially if you love tea. Um, it goes through 
um, the different periods of the day and possibly what Jane Austen would have been eating or what tea she would have been drinking or, you know, the customs and like the, the you know, the culture surrounding tea time or just drinking tea um, during the Regency era. So it's very interesting. It's not a, you know, it's not a very large book and there are definitely, you know, some pictures and things sprinkled throughout along with quotes from uh, some of her different novels and I think letters as well. So um, it is a very Jane Austen-esque book and I love tea. So I do want to finish that one at some point and possibly during July. The next one that I have is uh, Jane Austen at Home, a biography by Lucy Worsley. And I've heard just amazing things about this. I have not at all even flipped through this yet. So um, it is something that I am really excited to get to hopefully in July. Even if I read a little bit and then carry it into August, that would be fantastic. But I would like to read a biography of Jane Austen at some point. I have not read one yet, but um, I think this one would be a great one to start with. So I've got two options for the nonfiction pick. And then the fourth prompt is to read a retelling of a Jane Austen book. And for this, I will be reading Pride, Prejudice, and Other Flavors by Sonali Dev. I've heard great things about this. Um, I have had a so-so relationship with retellings of Jane Austen novels. I recently read in January, actually, I read The Other Bennett Sister by Janice Hadlow. I'm pretty sure. Yes, Janice Hadlow. And I loved that book. I almost chose it for this prompt so I could reread it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Highly recommend. Highly recommend, especially if you love Pride and Prejudice and especially if you have a soft spot for Mary Bennett, like I do. <laughs> so I decided to just read something else, read something else that other people have enjoyed. Um, and I chose Pride, Prejudice and Other Flavors. And this is actually a series um, of Jane Austen retellings that have a an Indian American uh, background and a uh, cast of characters. So I'm really excited to read this one in this month. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. The next prompt is a book by a contemporary of Jane Austen. And so for this, I will be reading Matilda by Mary Shelley. I do love Mary Shelley. And when I say I love Mary Shelley, I'm, I say that because one, I love Frankenstein. And then um, I also am really interested in just her life in general, especially her mother, Mary Wollstonecraft. They have a really interesting just like life both of them. Um, and Mary Shelley in particular, just like her relationship with um, her father um, and her relationship with Lord Byron and kind of just what happened like during that whole, during her entire life. Um, it's always been of interest to me. So I do want to start picking up more works by Mary Shelley. And this one I think is a great place to start. It is a novella and it is a little darker than what I'll be reading the rest of the month. So yeah. So we've got Mary Shelley as the contemporary and then the last two prompts involve watching a film adaptation or um, something similar to that. So for the first prompt for that um, is to just watch a screen adaptation. So since I'm reading Sense and Sensibility for the first time, I want to rewatch the Kate Winslet Emma Thompson um, adaptation of Sense and Sensibility. So I will be doing that. And then the last prompt is to watch a modern screen adaptation. And for this, I could not, I could not not do this. I'm going to watch Clueless, which is a modern adaptation of Emma. Um, I have not read Emma yet. It's actually one of the one, it's probably going to be the last Jane Austen that I read. Um, and I'm just, I'm so looking forward to watching Clueless. It's, it's also been one thing that I've been wanting to do recently. So why not just lump everything into the Jane Austen July readathon <laughs> and, you know, just get it done then. So um, I'm very excited for that. I am planning to do maybe a month long reading vlog. Um, we'll see how that goes. It may be split up into two parts depending on how much I get read, um, but I would like to document the whole month long readathon process and I think that would be a fun way to do that. Um, also, I wanted to um, 
show y'all or share with y'all um, some shirts that I made. I made these actually a little while ago um, and I just got nervous, shy, um, bashful, all the, all the different, you know, synonyms for that. Um, and I just never, never sold them, but I did make some shirts and, um, they are Pride and Prejudice themed. And I just, I love this quote from Pride and Prejudice from Lady Catherine de Bourgh. And I wanted to turn it into a shirt and share it with the world. Um, and my love for, you know, Jane Austen. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> if you are interested in maybe purchasing a shirt or um, sharing it with somebody, definitely let me know. And I will put these up on Etsy if there is any sort of interest in them. So um, just let me know. Just let me know. I have several different colors in the shirts. I think I have a blue. I have a like a really nice kind of earthy tone cardinal red. I have a sage green. I have a dark charcoal and I also have a light gray. So and they are screen printed. So they're very very high quality and they are the um, Bella Canvas tri-blend shirts. So yeah, just wanted to just wanted to throw that in there as well. And I think that's gonna be it. This is my this is my Jane Austen July TBR right here. It is um, eight books. <laughs> But two of them are read-along, and I may actually listen to the audiobook version of uh, Mansfield Park. Um, so, yeah, but that's, that's, that's what we got. I am so excited, so excited. <sighs> I cannot wait to read some Jane Austen, and I think it's just going to be a good month. A good month. So thank you all so much for watching. If you are excited for Jane Austen July, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in participating in Jane Austen July as well, I will leave the three host channels and information in the description box. So you can, you know, explore that as well. Um, if you are new here and you are looking forward to seeing some videos that I will be posting, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can see when those videos are posted. And um, I will also link all of my, um, all the all the different links as to where you can find me elsewhere um, aside from YouTube. So um, I am on Instagram and I am on Goodreads as well. Um, and I am launching a newsletter in July and it's going to be just like a fun newsletter um, of just like a monthly recap of things. So if you're interested in signing up for that as well, that'll be on my Substack page and I will leave a link for that as well in the description box. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.